Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning. Let's see who's here hanging out today. All right. So I'm going to go get my nails done today. So we're going to do um, a fairly quick background uh, on this girl. So I'm just going to get started right away. And um, if you need to watch the replay, then by all means, let's watch the replay. Again, I have really no idea what I want to do with this girl. I don't even know. Yeah, like I got nothing right now. I have like absolutely nothing right now. So, I mean, obviously there's gonna be some water, so I'm gonna start there. Um, and I know that her tail is gonna dip into the water a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start with the idea of that, and we'll just see where we go from there. So, I'm gonna take some C3, and I'm just gonna add Dots from her tail into the water. Nothing major, just a little bit. Hello, hello, whoever is here. Say hello so I can see you. All right. Then um, I like to make, I like to mix um, smoky blue and turquoise in the waters. So I'm gonna start with kind of a lighter smoky blue um, and just start to build my water. Mainly cause I'm totally chicken and yeah, we're just gonna go with that. Hey, hi Mary. Hi Marianne. Ooh, yay. I'm in distress every week. Does that count? <laughs> okay. I'm especially in distress today as I just found out how much one of our new dyes is going to cost. And I just don't know what to do about it. So there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a horizon line. And what I really like to do is um, grab, I usually have a ruler hanging out here, but I can't find one right now. So I'm gonna line this up. And I'm gonna line this up, and I'm just gonna use this as a guide for my horizon line. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, Viola is here. I love Miss Viola. She's such a great supporter. Okay, so I have this horizon line here, um, nice calm ocean, um, and I'm gonna do kind of a sunsetty type thing, I think, because this little fairy, I don't think they would be out during the day. Um, I know my customers are going to so cringe at the price and it's sad because it's a dye that they all really want. So that's why I'm having heart palpitations over it. Um, so I'm going to start building this skyline down. So I'm going to come to my mini hex chart and I'm going to start looking at, I want this, like I said, to be like a turquoisey blue. So I'm going to start pulling out um, my darker colors. I want BG 78. Again, I'm feeling like this would be evening time because of, you know, the nature of the mythical creatures. I don't think they would be hanging out during the day. So um, then to BG09. Um, we're going to go 57, which is Jasper, one of my favorite colors in the whole wide world. Um, then I'm going to go up to 13. We're going to end this in a little bit more of a turquoisey teal. 
I'm going to go to 32. Um, then I'm going to go 11. And then I'm going to go with my triple. I know, die manufacturing is just... Oh, my goodness gracious. I just, I don't even know what to do with myself at this point. Um, it's a great die, but I feel like the price point is going to be too high. And that scares me a lot. All right. So you'll be able to see my color blend up here in the corner as I use them. Hold on while I switch my light because that put a shadow on my light. So there we go. All right. So I'm going to start with the ocean here. I'm going to add some movement to the water. Over here. And then I'm gonna have to turn my paper around. I am such a right-handed colorist that it's really hard for me to do anything the opposite direction. So what are you guys all doing today? What's the plan? What's the plan, Stan? BG09. Same thing. Going further up into that darker color. And from this side. This 09 is such a beautiful teal turquoisey color. It just is gorgeous. Marianne, I'm still stuck on the fact that you got rid of all of your Copics. That's just crazy to me. Okay. Hi. DT disbursements. Yep, those always take time. Hello, bestie. Okay, so then BG57, another super gorgeous teal color. A little bit lighter than the last one. And again, these soft brush strokes going all the way back into the water. OK, 
Okay, I'm also going to come back in here where I made those lighter blue marks just to mark off where I wanted my water movement to be. And over here. Oh, I'm sure you do, but that's still not Copics. So, I mean, I probably have the same number of pencils as well. Although I don't have any watercolor pencils and I would like to learn to play with those. But I do have all the Concord and Ninth liquid watercolors and I have quite an extension, extensive collection of Daniel Smith watercolors. I also have pro markers, but I'm probably gonna get rid of my pro markers. They were a thing for a bit and now they're not. They do have some gorgeous purples though. The pro markers really, um, really have pretty purples. I love watching water scenes develop because they're just so, so pretty and just flowing, free flowing and easy. Again, just like yesterday, there's just a lot of scribbling involved. You can see I haven't done anything. Um, good morning, Tyler. I haven't done anything like over the top so far. It's just scribbling back and forth and Hopefully I can finish this background before it's time to leave for my nail appointment. Hopefully. Now with these water splashes, I'm gonna try to stay out of them for the most part. I'm gonna define them a little bit more. Um, and then I'm gonna just keep going lighter and lighter on them but I'm gonna try to stay out of them because I want them to be lighter. Just like that. Just really light and soft brush strokes across the paper. Hi, Linda Lou. How's Pennsylvania treating you? I feel like there's not as many of us early birds as there are of the night owls. Beautiful. I want to add a couple of brush strokes here. There we go. Thank you for tagging everybody, Sandy. I appreciate that. around. 
Don't mind my neighbor starting up his motorcycle. So I have one neighbor that has like a dragster race car that they travel all around the country and race. Um, and then I have a neighbor that has like a crazy, you know, motorcycle that they like to turn on and run forever. I don't know why motorcycles, you can't just turn on and then jump on them and take off, but apparently that's not a thing. So you have to turn it on and let it run for a while. And then, yay, hooray, Janet. Um, I don't know why it's a thing, but apparently if you own like a Harley or whatever, you have to like sit and let it run for hours before you actually go and ride it. So that's a thing. Okay. So this is my lightest color and I, well, I have one more color, but that's going to be used for something kind of different. So I'm just coming in and trying to fill in stuff. all the way up, not too much saturation or you'll wash out your previous ink. But look at how fast that ocean came together. Um, only after 9 p.m. <laughs> yeah, they, they also have time limits on those things, right? So I'm gonna take my BG triple zero and I'm going to come into these little water rings here and I'm going to kind of wash them out. So that they look a little bit more like ripples. Not too much, but it just adds a little dimension to them. You would think with gas prices the way they are right now that you would not, um, hi Nona, um, that you would not be sitting and letting your bike run forever prior to riding it because even though bikes are way better on gas, you still can't afford that. <laughs> Nobody can afford that. Okay, so now that I have this, um, I want to go through and make a sky. And um, the sky, excuse me, as I choke to death, um, the sky is going to be a lot of the, the same. I'm going to make it a little bit smoother, though. Um, and then I'm going to show you kind of a little trick for some clouds. So I'm going to start a little bit lighter than that because, again, I'm a scaredy cat. And I'm going to start by kind of putting a glow behind her like it's a moon or a sunset or a moon or something along those lines. You can always go darker, it's really hard to go lighter. So I start with my lighter color. And then I go darker from there. Trying to make the sun look round. Circles are not my strong point. like that. Good enough. Oh, you did get it ordered? Yay! Okay, then I have my Y02 and I'm going to kind of make a halo. 
around this. So not all the way to the edge of what I just colored. Okay, and then I'll show you why I do that in a little bit. When we blend it out, it looks cool. For now, I'm just building. So this is really the only part of the background that isn't really scribbled. Sandy can come to your house. Ooh, Gecko Act Together is gonna be colored tonight. Awesome! I know, I really wanna color a rainbow gecko. I just haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna start brushing out with like some oranges and pinks and um, all of that. So I'm gonna start with Y21. <laughs> Be careful not to go into her tail because her tail is a really light gray, so you have a really hard time getting that color out of there. I don't think my neighbor ever went anywhere. I think he's, oh, there he is, starting it up again. He must be trying to fix something on it. Okay, so after Y21, I do have rainbow things to color. I'm working on those rainbow things. Um, okay, so Y21 is down here somewhere. There it is. So I'm gonna go YR21. I am working on those rainbow things that are supposed to be colored. This one's taking a little bit longer to color than I imagined, Marianne. It's a little bit more detailed than the last one. And I got your paper in, but they didn't send me enough. So now I have to get more, which I'm really not happy with. I mean, not that I'm not happy to get more paper. That sounded wrong, but... Okay, then I'm gonna come in with some pink. Um, I'm gonna start with like kind of orangey pink, so I'm gonna go R12, so I can get it out without somewhere in there. You guys see how light these brush strokes is, how much room is in between them, how light these brush strokes are. Wow, English is great for me. I need coffee. But like I said, I'm going to get my nails done, so I'm waiting to get coffee so I can drive through Starbucks. And today at Starbucks, if you order on the app ahead of time, you get buy one, get one free. So I'm gonna take my nail girl a coffee because she said she can finally taste coffee again. She had COVID like four months ago and she can just now taste coffee again, which I find absolutely crazy. Okay, so my R12 is up here. So I'm gonna go to R43, which is going to be a drastic change. Very light. Again, 
This is just a scribble background, so really you can't do it wrong. Okay. And then I'm gonna do one more color that's darker than the R43. And I think it's gonna go more into the purple um, realm. So maybe V05. Anybody grew up using V05? Yep, pink sky in the morning, sailor's warning. Pink sky at night, sailor's delight. Yep, yep. My dad used to say that all the time growing up. Because he said, Sandy, that it was also true for airmen. <laughs> he said, if the sailors aren't sailing, the airmen shouldn't fly. Okay. So now that I have this all kind of sketched in here, I'm going to go in with my chisel nib and kind of flatten this all out. Um, it's It's been red or pink, but this I, I've heard it both ways. Red sky in the morning, sailor's warning, red sky at night, sailor's delight. But um, most more often than not, I hear it as pink. Be very careful with your chisel nib so that you're not touching um, like the edges of her tail. You can use your brush nib for this. I'm just comfortable enough using my chisel nib that it does not matter to me. And I have the cap on the end of this particular marker because I've used a ton of the ink out of it. So, I want all the ink to flow down to the chisel nib. Okay, so you're still gonna have that like scratchy feel to it. Um, and I am gonna use the brush nib a little bit on this one to add some more yellow. This is my Y02. Um, you're still gonna have that like scratchy painterly feel to it, but we're definitely gonna be like hydrating this and going for a couple of layers with it. To really marry these colors together and make them look seamless. So there will be a few layers of back and forth. But this is a much quicker background. I gotta watch my time. So then I go back to that first marker while this is still wet and marry these two colors together. So I just go over the top of it of where those two colors meet. Okay, 
So you're going to be doing some back and forth on this, and that's fine. Again, try not to touch that teal hair or color in your little fairy here. Okay, and then back to the previous color so you can marry those colors together. And see how smooth that becomes? Super pretty. And I'm doing nothing more than just scribbling. I haven't done anything that isn't just a scribble. Now this color blended really well, I think because it's so wet still that I don't need to go back and forth. So I'm going to switch to my R43. This one's not going to blend as well because it's so bright, but that's okay because we're going to go back in with our previous color and marry them together. So then back to your previous. Um, okay, Marianne, I, I shall try. I have a lot of stuff calling me today too. Okay. And then we go to our V05 add some to the top here. I like to always make the corners come down some so it looks a little bit like a vignette. Vignette? I can't say that word. Sorry. I know. I love when, when doing backgrounds like this, you really do get to see those sparkles, the shimmer in the paper, and how it shows through those Copic markers, and it's just gorgeous. Okay, and I'm gonna come back in one more time with this R12. Okay, and then the last thing I like to do is to come in with my colorless blender and I like to make a little bit of a halo around the sun. So I outline it and then I brush out from the sun. I was gonna make clouds because I thought I was gonna make this a daytime thing, but this is not a daytime thing, so we'll do clouds on a different one. Because there's a really fun technique using your colorless blender to make clouds. And then there's one more thing is I like to take my Y triple zero and I actually like to use the brush nib for this. And I like to come down into the water and add some yellow. And that yellow is not bright enough so I'm gonna add a couple of brush strokes of the Y02. And then I just dab my marker on my paper to clean it off. And there you go, guys. Quick background, half an hour. Um, and look at how beautiful that comes out. Just gorgeous with the painterly strokes in the sky and the reflection of the sun or the moon, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I just look at all the sparkles in the paper. And I mean, I used a ton of ink, but 
look at how beautiful that is and how impactful that is. And it was nothing more than scribbling. The only thing that wasn't a scribble was the sun. And so I really, um, I really enjoy this kind of background. It's fast. It's easy. Anybody can do it. It's very impactful. Um, and, and it's gorgeous. And you can use like any colors. So um, I hope, oh, hi, Holly. I didn't notice you were in here. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for joining me for this super quick background. Um, I'm going to run off to Starbucks and I'm going to go get glittery nails and I don't think I'm going to do a character this time. I think I'm going to go just glitter. I want glitter and shine this time. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up with. You know me, I may end up with a character after all, but you know, that's how that goes. Um, so anyways, this stamp set is called You Are Magical and it's in the shop. And um, I would love for you guys to pick up this stamp set. She is so pretty. Um, you can color her, obviously, in a plethora of ways. And this is just one way to color her. And um, thank you guys for joining me tonight. It sounds like Sandy's going to be coloring Gecko Act together, which I'm super excited about. And um, I will see you. Wow, today's Thursday. So I will see you tomorrow morning with another coloring. Um, we're on at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Uh, Central Time. So if you're Pacific, that's 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. If you're Mountain, that's 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. If you're Central, that's 10 and 10. And if you are Eastern, that is 11 and 11. Um, and if you are somewhere else around the country, please just Google um, <laughs> the time because I cannot calculate that in my brain. Um, so anyways, guys, I will send, I will post a picture of my nails when I get them done and, um, I will see you all later. Toodles.